you're gonna to wanna to watch this video if you wanna be fully prepared for your night diving adventures. Hi everyone and welcome back to Mike's Dive Store. I'm Lauren and today I'm gonna to be talking to you about night diving. I'm gonna be talking to you about the essential things you need to remember, the equipment, the extra equipment you need to bring, the skills you need to perfect, and the essential things you need to remember when planning for your night dive. Don't forget, if you have any questions about anything that I've talked about today or any of the products that we have in our range, please make sure to email us at support at mikesdivesaw.com. I've also included the link below. This is where we have a team of qualified experts that's here to help you out with any questions that you have. And we're here to help you make your decision making process easier with our honest advice on what equipment you should buy before you go diving. So first off, I'm gonna to explain to you what is night diving and why is it so incredibly unique? So night diving is completely different from diving in the day. You're gonna need different equipment, more equipment, and you're gonna to need to take extra precautions and risk assessments before you go diving. Diving in the day, you're observing everything around you, but when diving at night, you're focusing on one point more. So it challenges you to observe more of what you're seeing within that light beam. Night diving offers an array of opportunities that you wouldn't see in the daylight, and it's always full of surprises. It's also super calming and super relaxing, being submerged into the darkness with only a light to guide your way. So let's move on to the night diving tips and the things that you need to remember before you go night diving. So number one is visit the dive site during the day, so you can easily orientate yourself and navigate so you can get a better understanding of the dive site before you go at night. Or perhaps try diving at dusk or dawn, so there's still a little bit of light shining through so it's more lit up in your path. You can still see different things at dusk or dawn than you see in the day, but it might be easier to navigate for you before you try diving in the dark at that dive site. Next up is to practice your navigational skills before you go night diving. As you're gonna be relying on your compass a lot more, you're going to need to learn how to use it properly so you can navigate yourself throughout your dive. Always, always, always bring a buddy with you when you're diving at night. As with all diving, there's always risks, so it's always good to bring a buddy with you. So if anything happens during your dive, then your buddy be there to help you out. And of course, you need to be extra prepared when you're diving for your night dive, as there'll be some more equipment or extra equipment, different equipment that you need to be prepared and you need to plan for before you dive. So this is the list of essential items that you need to take when packing for your night dive. First off, you should bring an extra torch. An extra torch is a good backup, just in case your first torch fails. Because if one torch fails, you're completely in the dark, you don't know where you're going. So you'll need a backup torch in case that ever happens. The next up is to bring a tank light. So this is so your buddy can easily find you when you're diving in the dark. And of course, you need to pack a compass so you can better orientate yourself when you're in the water. Next up is a whistle. If you need to signal your buddies or you need to get your buddy's attention, a whistle is always a good thing to have, especially when you're night diving. And of course, it's gonna be colder when you're diving at night, so you need to plan to wear extra layers or extra protection when you're diving at night. So I'd recommend either wearing a dry suit or wearing a thick wetsuit. You can also bring with you some hood, gloves, it depends where you're diving, but make sure you plan for diving in colder waters when you're at night diving. So that's it for today's video. If you have any questions about any of the topics I've talked about today, about night diving or about the equipment, please make sure to email us at support at mikesdivestore.com. I've also included a link below. And thank you so much for watching. If you want to keep more up to date on the latest scuba news, advice, product reviews, make sure to click the subscribe button below and make sure also to check out our playlist for more educational content. Wherever you choose to go diving next, whether it's in the day or the night, make sure you have happy diving adventures and stay safe.